Well, hello everybody. I'm just working on a little embroidery project here today. And I thought that while I'm doing this, I would just tell you about some channels on YouTube that I really enjoy. Um, one that I just got through watching today is Cab 7. C-A-B number 7. I'm going to put a list of these down in the description. Now, Cab 7 is probably the kindest, sweetest person you will ever meet. Certainly one of the kindest people I've ever seen on YouTube. This gentleman has a live stream oh, every day, every other day. Um, and kind of various times. I don't always catch him. Uh, but he's always kind. He's always helpful. He's always supportive. Uh, his channel is absolutely wonderful for you know, minor chit chat. Um, if you need, you know, prayer for something. He and everybody else that's in the chat room are there for you. And there, there's, you know, no drama. There's no hatefulness. There's no spitefulness. It's just a lovely time spent with other lovely people. I really, really appreciate that. There is darn little of that, seems like, anymore. Everyone, well, it's a generalization, but it, it seems like there's too many people who are spiteful, hateful, you know, have to open their mouth and give their opinion even when nobody asked for it. And they're not, it's not usually very helpful in the situation. Um, you know, sometimes you can say something to someone and it is helpful, even if it hurts them a bit. But for the most part, you know, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Or at least, you know, just just say, I'll pray for you, or, or I'll, I'll send you well wishes, or, you know, whatever your particular beliefs are. And Cab7 has a channel that is perfect for that. Now, there's another channel. There is one other live stream that's almost almost every evening um, between 10 and 11 p.m. Eastern Time um, and that's called The Four Hens Roost. That is adult only. Uh, it's a, a chat room and pretty much there are no topics that don't get discussed. Only. Um, some of the humor can get racy. Nice way to put it. If that's not your thing, perfectly understandable. Um, but this is also a place where if you need to vent about something that's going on in your life, you don't have anybody you can trust to talk to, you can talk to the group there. What's said in there stays in there. Um... The uh, live streams are deleted when they are over, so there is no record kept on YouTube about it. And it is an open chat, but, you know, records are not kept. The, the live streams are not saved. So, it's a fairly safe place, if, especially if you need to vent about something that's going on. There are some other channels that I really, really have enjoyed and learned from um, on homesteading and gardening. Um, one of the sweetest people I think I have ever seen, besides Cab 7, is Homestead Tessie. This woman is a wealth of knowledge on how to live frugally and how to do things the old-fashioned way. 
videos. Um, I like Hope's Homestead. Lovely young lady. Um, and she has the most adorable rabbits that she raises. And quail. And little tiny chickens. They're game chickens of some sort. They're just adorable, and she's adorable, and funny, as I'll get out. But very, very good videos. I just love uh, her, her rabbits. Um, now, another one for rabbits uh, would be J. Null Zero. And J. Null Zero is also excellent when it comes to uh, living frugally. Uh, he's done canning, he's done, uh, and he's in um, southern Ohio, and so it's, it, it is southern cooking. He does some wonderful southern cooking videos, and uh, he's got some really good information to share. If you're into fishing, he's also got a fishing channel. That's not my thing, but hey, but uh, he's little bit of all-around do-it-yourselfer and he's got some great stuff now another do-it-yourselfer that I really like really nice guy um, personal friend of mine at least I consider him that is BC truck and uh, if you like to build things repurpose things repair things this is your guy because if it's got an motor of any sort in it if he can't fix it nobody can um, and even if it's not got a motor he'll figure out how to get it done I keep telling him his middle name is MacGyver because he's smarter than MacGyver so it's only his middle name but BC Truck is, is really good guy and he's made some fabulous knives he's got into knife making recently and uh, if you're into that, looking for a knife or looking to learn how to do a little bit of knife making, I'd suggest going over there and checking out some of his videos on that. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, another one that I like for canning. Um, just your basic canning, but maybe some things you've never thought about canning would be all sorts. She's a really nice lady up in Canada. Um, this fellow is in Zone 9 in California. However, a lot of what he raises, could you could learn lessons from him and to, no matter pretty much where you lived. Um, I'm Zone B in Texas, and so a lot of what he grows, I can grow. Because we also have very mild winters. Not as mild as his, but we have very mild winters. And that channel is Plant Abundance. Very, very knowledgeable man. He has turned their backyard, and it's a suburban neighborhood house and yard. He has turned their backyard into a, a food forest, basically. There, are, there is no grass. He has chickens. Um, they kind of free range wherever they want to, looks like. Um, but there's no grass. There's no yard in the backyard. It is trees, bushes, plants, vegetable plots. Um, he's tried several different ways of growing things, including hugel culture. Um, and there's a lot to be learned on his channel. A whole lot to be learned. Let's see. Is there any? Oh, I know. If you are, not that I'm farming. I will probably not be farming. But I've learned a wealth of knowledge, just good to know knowledge, from the Tennessee homestead. Rich is a really nice man, uh, older gentleman. When I, oops, sorry about that. When I say older, I mean he's, you know, older than 40. Um, but he has raised cattle. And I'm going to assume he's had a garden. Um, he's had chickens. 
And so if you're into uh, chickens and cows and that kind of thing, he's probably a good person to go to. He's just recently done a series on um, buying cattle at auctions, what to look for, what to ask about, um, and then when you're raising them, what do you what do you do with yours when you've got it raised? He he's and if you're buying a homestead, looking to buy a homestead, what to look for, what to ask about, things to check into. If you are concerned about GMOs and Monsanto and and those kinds of things and the chemicals that are being put on fields, he is a wealth of knowledge on those because he keeps up with it. Um, and one other channel that I really, really, really enjoy just because I'm a history nut is Townsend's. These people are historical reenactors. And they have a shop where they sell the clothing, uh, dishes, some food items, um, pots, pans, pretty much anything you might need if you want to go be a reenactor. Um, mostly through the 18th century, which would be the 1700s. But some things will cross over into uh, either earlier or a little bit later than that. And, you know, they have a variety of things that they actually sell in their store. However, their channel is mostly about recipes. Recipes from antique cookbooks and how to prepare them in traditional methods. Um, and, of course, you know, he'll give you... You know, yes, you can beat these eggs for an hour to make them light and fluffy enough to actually raise up the cake. But if you've got a mixer, electric mixer, go ahead and use that and you get there a whole lot faster. <laughs> you know, he's very practical. Um, very, very nice gentleman. In fact, everybody that they've had on there has, has just been wonderful. They go out to a lot of the places that uh, do reenactments and interview people. They've gone to uh, Mount Vernon, um, several other places where there are always reenactors there working to show anybody who comes to visit what things were like. Um, those interviews are absolutely fabulous. I highly recommend you go watch those if you're a history buff of anything at all. And so I just wanted to do kind of a little mini shout out of my list and why I like them. Um, and like I say, I'll put the list down in with links down in the description box. And, you know, I highly recommend you guys to go check them out. Talk to you later. Bye.